Irat Astan Abourde. Bruce here, everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by. Merci tout le monde. Vous êtes passé dans un peu de temps. De vérifier euh, mes recherches. C'est toujours bien apprécié. Always greatly appreciated. Well, guess what? Major, 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 major. What is that? Major trouble. Or maybe something major good. I don't know, but this object, I've never seen it there. And I've seen the surface so many times. This is in Mare Fecunditatis. I know for a fact I've never seen anything there. So either the light source that was there now has a huge dark object or structure or shadow in the center. And we'll see this again. We're going to go down. This is really amazing. I'm telling you. Uh, wait till we look into Mare Serenitatis. The surface is completely different. Meaning it's showing us. The look at it. Look at that. Wow. And look at the black line there. Shadow? Could be. But I doubt it. We're in Mare Fecunditatis and again. And look on the left, that tower there really looked like a tower. Whoa. Pretty cool. Greenery all around Mare, uh, the Apennine Mountains, sorry, and Mare Serenitatis to the right, of course. That's what I was going to say. And look, the indentation, it descends. But look at the wall boundary, the triangular shapes uh, of the whole thing, actually. The entirety of it, it's triangular, comes to a point. And descending levels inside. Now these little things, I've been looking at Mare Serenitatis for a while. I knew there was a black spot in that area, but I knew it wasn't a black spot. It's that we need to get a clear night and we're actually seeing a lot of um, big structuring inside of that area. Mare Imbrium just underneath here, the blue part where the supposed Apollo 11 moon landing was. Not very far away from the Apollo 17 and now check it out. You know I'm always talking to you guys about three lines where the supposed Apollo 17 is or was, or supposedly was. There's the area there. It's a cut out more area. They would have been just over supposedly that area, more towards the white uh, crater that you're seeing. And again, that's um, Mons Argeus. There again, look at the cutout, the boundary lines, either that or there's something leaking or, or something different or something being built. Um, I've never seen it this way before. The surface is very different to me, and I do believe that there's a reaction. I showed you Mare Fecunditatis, that dot there looked, uh, you know, very elevated, shadow, whatnot, UFO, who knows what it is, but let me tell you, um, looks like the craters and the lights are brighter today, uh, well, from last night, and they're reacting to something possibly. Um, what if it's a refueling station, guys? What if UFOs are fueling up off of the surface, landing in the center of the craters, and then taking off? You know, maybe they're being built there on the surface. Who knows? Again, these are just theories shot out there where we look at this amazing footage, but nonetheless, very interesting to ponder in the area of, hey, what is up there, right? Who knows? It can be so many things. You guys give me the most amazing uh, theories and uh, comments on what exactly could be there. And I'm learning so much from you guys. Trust me, I'm learning so, so much from you all. You guys know it. I say it all the time. If it wasn't for you, the community, no channel will exist at all. And I thank you very much for the ongoing support. You guys are absolutely amazing. The whiter the crater, the brighter the crater. Say to yourself, the more color is there. We're gonna go see Cassini right here, but a lot closer. We already see a beginning of color. Wait till you see it really close up into the haze. There's also a long line on the bottom southeastern side of Cassini as viewed as I'm crossing panning over here we can see a line stretching many hundreds of miles from Cassini Crater. And now Mare Imbrium coming up as we pan
noticing all the greens, fantastic greens around the, the approaching Apennine Mountains top left corner there. Don't forget, say to yourself that the height and level of these supposed mountains are 10 or 12,000 feet just under Mount Everest. We're talking a very high surface. And again, it is said that the optical illusion is giving us um, an image of a uh, perception that everything is lying down on the surface. So the closer we would get to approaching the moon, definitely these objects would never stop growing. They would become monstrous as we approach the moon. And of course, to make a long story short, we're viewing an object that is in motion. Seen from an observer on another celestial object that is also moving. Thus creating an optical illusion that everything that is high off the surface is actually looking flat when it is not. Well, we're back inside of the Apennine Mountains and I took a nice snapshot. I'm not gonna say anything right now. I will at the end of the frame, but try to look for a shape or something that is unusual on the surface. I shouldn't have even said shape. Maybe I forced you to see it, but triangular, right? One of many of hundreds on the surface. In the center, a towering object looks very, very high off the surface. Could be lying down, of course, with the parallax, the illusion, whatever. It does look standing up, but the triangle shape is perfect. So it's clear enough for us to get in really close. I wanna go see this crater right here and these lines right there. So let's get in super close. Of course, here's the proof again, a clearer night than I've ever gotten and I can get in a bit closer than I usually can. Let's take a look. Now there are very different revealing levels. Now here's one of them. It's when the colors start popping. The greens, the intense thick greens in all the craters on the surface of the moon. You can see popping out right now. Oh, but yeah, very important for those of you not seeing the color in my videos. Well, it's your monitor, so don't worry about it. At one point, you'll evolve into a better monitor. They're damn expensive, I know it. I hear you, but when you do, you'll see a major difference.
For many, many years, many years, well, three to be exact, almost three, I've been told that these are just shadows. Well, let me tell you, they're always that shape. Remember this one a year ago? It's always there. There we have it. There you go. Hey, wait a minute. Does that mean that the, that crater is... Now, how cool is that? Here's a hint, es la Villa Eratisthena. Thank you for liking this video and taking the time to subscribe and sharing it on other platforms. Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Iratasten aborde.